The Touches of Gold Throughout This Painting by Daniel Ridgway Knight at a warm glow that heightens the scene's pastoral splendor. The stillness of the brook reflecting the sunlight gives a sense of stability at the bottom of the canvas. The gentle rise of the fence that turns into the garden wall leads your eye into the background, which is painted with less detail and focus than the foreground. Look at the three figures in this painting. Let your eyes land on the faces of the two French peasant girls as they approach the glassy brook. Notice their gaze. Where are they looking? Their cherub-like faces and healthy bodies clad in dirt-stained clothes are physically there, but their detached gazes make them appear to be a million miles away. They are not looking at each other, but are absorbed in solitary contemplation. Ridgeway Knight gave this same dreamy look to many of the peasants he painted over his career. While many of his contemporaries choose to depict the harsher aspects of peasant life, Ridgeway Knight paints these peasant girls with a sense of isolated tranquility. When looking at Ridgeway Knight's body of work, it is apparent that he enjoyed painting bucolic everyday scenes of French female peasants. He painted them so often that he has been referred to as a pleasant peasant painter. His subjects were local models dressed in authentic clothing from local farm laborers. Ridgeway Knight built a glass studio in the countryside so that he could paint the actual landscape with natural light at all times of the year. There were some harsh realities of being a working-class peasant in France that Ridgeway Knight glosses over. He romanticized the peasant life, stating that they were as happy and content as any similar class in the world. They enjoy life. They work hard, to be sure, but plenty of people do that. They love their native soil. In their hours of ease, they have countless diversions, and the women know how to be merry in their hours of toil. While Ridgeway Knight's depiction of French peasantry is beautiful and idyllic, compare his painting to that of Jean-Francois Millet, the manure spreader, located in the Sloggy Family Gallery of European Art. Which painter shows a more accurate depiction of 19th century peasant life? Standing at over six feet tall, Daniel Ridgeway Knight had a commanding personality. He enjoyed food, wine, friends, and a successful artistic career. His artworks were awarded prizes at multiple exhibitions, including at the elite annual Paris Salon, and he sold his paintings as fast as he could produce them. Although he enjoyed success in his lifetime, he has not been remembered as prominently as some of his friends and colleagues like Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, or Mary Cassatt. Perhaps this is because he painted in a style that was already well-established, while his colleagues were experimenting with new ways of painting. Perhaps this is because he painted in a style that was already well-established, while his colleagues were experimenting with new ways of painting. Ridgeway Knight was born into a strict Quaker family in Philadelphia in 1839. Art was banned in his home because it was considered immoral, but with the help of his grandfather, he enrolled in the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. One of his classmates was Mary Cassatt, whose portrait of a young girl hangs in this gallery. Ridgeway Knight left for France when he was admitted into the École des Beaux-Arts, School of the Fine Arts. After studying at the Parisian Art School for 18 months, he returned to the United States to fight for the Union Army in the raging Civil War. Ridgeway Knight worked as an artist in Philadelphia after the war ended, but continued to dream of France. He wrote to his friend, I am almost bored to death after my work is done. I think then of the boulevards and cafes and how you fellows are enjoying yourselves, perhaps at billiards, perhaps at Euchre, in the Café Maison. Ridgeway Knight married and sailed to France for his honeymoon, where he remained for the next 53 years until he passed away at the age of 85.